So we've talked about lead, acid, batteries, and we know that they are both hazardous substances. So it is really important that we understand the symbols on the label and what they mean. All Varta batteries come with a booklet attached to the back side of the container that contains all the important information about how to handle the battery safely. Since it's hard to read once the battery is installed in the vehicle, we recommend keeping the operations instructions with the vehicle manual. The most important rule, protect yourself always. Always wear protective goggles and gloves when working with a battery. When charging a battery, as a side effect, some energy is being used for electrolysis, which leads to the production of hydrogen. By the way, this is the reason why you must connect the exhaust tube to the battery and close the vent hole on the other side of the battery. Sometimes, for logistic reasons, both vent holes are sealed with a plug to avoid acid leakage during transportation. It is absolutely important to unmount one of these protective plugs before putting the battery into operation. Otherwise, the creation of internal gases will lead to a significant overpressure and ultimately to burst the container. The hydrogen is not the only reason to wear protective goggles. From the CCA test, we already know that the battery is able to deliver hundreds, also more than thousands amperes over a pretty long time. Protect your eyes, skin and clothes from electrolyte. The acid is extremely corrosive. If you detect any leakage or moisture, be careful while handling and also protect the environment. Free acid could leak and damage the paint on the chassis or the vehicle. Old batteries that have been heavily exposed to sunlight or freezing might become brittle and could break. Whenever drops of acid come into contact with your eyes, your skin or your clothes, it should be rinsed for several minutes using clear water, especially for contact with the eyes or if the acid is ingested. Consult your doctor immediately. With knowing all that, it's obvious that batteries are not a toy and must be kept out of reach of children. We already talked about the fact that hydrogen is created during charging. Due to that, charging must be carried out in a well-ventilated environment. Avoid any potential source of sparks, as these may ignite any gases within the battery. All our batteries are equipped with flame arresters to avoid the ignition of the gas within the battery by an external spark. A spark can also occur within a heavily used battery with damaged lugs or plates. In cells with high loss electrolyte, for example, due to an internal short circuit, can contain a high amount of gas. Therefore, handle those batteries with care. Also be aware that electrostatic discharge can cause a spark. As lead and acid is hazardous to us, it is harmful to the environment. Therefore, you need to take extra care to dispose of old batteries in an appropriate way. Clarius has its own recycling system and owns a recycling facility in Germany to properly recycle old batteries. In fact, the circular recycling makes these batteries a very environmentally friendly product. The lead can be re-smelted and used again in new batteries. The poly of the case can be recycled and used in new plastic products. And the acid can be cleaned and reused in such things as a cleaner. 